151. We got the five boxes of artifacts. So as long as we can get one of them done tonight, the other one should go tomorrow, and then uh, we might be able to get it. If not, it'll probably be either Sunday or Monday then. Ideally, I'd like to get it done, you know. Ideally, we made them today, but we'll see how it goes. We've got an Orum of Norris for Ottawa. Orum, Norris, Ottawa. We've got number to 75, Brian Rust for the Penguins base parallel. Number to 9.99 for the Islanders of Salo. Salo rookie for the Islanders. Teammates dual jersey 249 for Calgary of Lindholm and Markstrom. Uh, craziest pull I've ever had. So I've had this conversation a lot of times. It's kind of changed, Joe Georgia, because like the pull I had at the time might not have been the biggest, but now it'd be way bigger. Four ninety nine, Yossi. Like for example, for Nashville, I opened the Future Watch ninety seven of nine ninety nine of McDavid. At the time, the card was like two thousand dollars. Problem is now that card would probably like fifty. <laughs> Four ninety nine, Sir Roken. You know, I opened a few of the McDavid Cup rookies in 99. Um, obviously, those have been monstrous, huge sellers. Another Orum of Barkov for Florida. Yeah, I opened a boatload of Matthews McDavid stuff when uh, when those years were, were out there. Those are fun. We got a 499 Carter Hart. Trying to think of anything else at the top of my head that like insanely stands out. I know Ashley, for example, got the uh, the Gretzky McDavid dual black 101 autograph, which was McDavid rookie year. So never bad to have a McDavid rookie auto 101 with Gretzky. We've got a year one rookie sweaters, Robertson for the Maple Leafs. Robertson. We've got a Threads of Time. Matt Murray for the Penguins. But yeah, open some absolute monsters. Do I have a collection? Yes, I have a, a pretty vast collection, to be honest. Um, number to 75, Pasternak for Boston. My main PC is Matthew's Rookie Year stuff. That is my main thing. Nine ninety nine for Seattle Coland. I also do certain sets every year. Uh, and McDavid and Matthews year specifically, I did like eight to ten sets of each uh, of the players. We've got a four ninety nine for Nashville Tolvanen. Generally like platinum premier trilogy. Um, for the Platinum Premier Trilogy. I'm trying to remember what else. SBA. $4.99. Ty Smith for the Devils. Orum of Sveshnikov for Carolina. Sveshnikov. The Leafs, yeah. And a four ninety nine of Bennington for the Blues. You know how long I've been waiting for when Matthews obviously was a thing for a good Maple Leaf rookie? My options over my course of my collecting career were Justin Pogge, Gustafson, uh, Kadri, which, you know, was not too horrible, Morgan Riley, um, Tyler Bozak, Jake Gardner. What other great leaks did I have options from? Yeah, I didn't have many. So when uh, when Matthews came along, I knew what I was going to collect. Remnants 
for the Blues of Pareko. Ooh, Remnants Patch. Number to 25, Brent Burns. Yeah, exactly. So my list of Maple Leaf candidates were not exactly very high. Numbering 25. Uh, so Dan here uh, collects Marner. Hence why I did Matthews. We've got a rookie redemption. i got to figure out who this is. Red247. So yeah, he collects Marner. I collect Matthews. We've got a wood variant of Dave Taylor for L.A. We've got a four ninety nine for the L.A. Kings, Fajamo. Four ninety nine. We've got a two ninety nine Adam Fox for the Rangers. What did the Fox say? We've got a nine ninety nine for the Philadelphia Flyers, Bobby Brink. Honestly, I, I feel like there's a lot of talking going around. I think he's signing again. That's just my gut. We got number to 35, Linus Olmark for Boston. I, I genuinely do believe, as much as he's a great player, that we should have traded him. But uh, I think they're going to sign him. I guess it's over there. So the thing is, again, he's a phenomenal player. It is hard to replace that kind of skill. We've got a net gear of Swayman for Boston. And that's the thing. Like, who are you trading for? The thing is, I would be only getting rid of him just to get cap space at this point. Auto facts of Ference for Nashville. David Ference. Auto facts. Ooh, clear rookie for the L.A. Kings, Kopitar. I don't know if the Leafs and Montreal could ever pull off a trade like that size with each other. I just legit don't even think it's possible at this point. Or um, for the Jets of Ehlers, that would be an interesting one though. Similar type-ish, with Caulfield just being the better goal scorer, Marner being the better playmaker. Nine ninety-nine for Philly, Noah Cates. But sadly, I think Caulfield is a slight step below Marner at this point. Number to eighty-five, Suzuki for Montreal. We've got number to 299, Marshawn for Boston. And finish off 299, Everly for Seattle. Suzuki. Yeah, sadly, at the Toronto, Toronto, Montreal, the only trade I ever see them doing are like very minimal risk ones that it can't bite them back, you know. I don't know where, what you'd get for Marner at this point. Like, it'd be very interesting to see what kind of value that guy would command on the market or what way you could pull in for him, but... 99 a rookie, Forrester for Philly. 99 rookie. I hate each other, yeah. Exactly. I think Boston and Toronto. Very rare would I ever expect a trade out of those two. We've got, speaking of, a leather variant, Cole Caulfield. Leather variant, 
Caulfield. We've got a rookie redemption. 244. Wild card. 244. 499 for the Blues of Brandon Sod. Makar, I yeah, I don't see them giving up Makar for Marner, honestly. We've got a duos Robertson and Hens to 249. I would love Makar, but no, that ain't happening. For Dallas. But yeah, that's a problem. I don't know what else would realistically be out there. Hints. Robertson. Five ninety nine of Kaprizov from Minnesota. Kaprizov. A dual horizontal jersey to one forty nine. David Pasternak. Kaprizov. Yeah. The thing is, I think you would have to know what you want to replace him with, right? And a two ninety nine for the Blues of Buchnevich. There we go. 